All right, so we're making really good progress here. Now, one of the things that we talked about before uh, as a feature of this application is to be able to click on our sandwich button at the top here and go to a page where we can add the city in which we want to get the weather of, I should say, okay? Now, we haven't talked about routing our applications or about going from screen A to screen B. That's something that we need to discuss separately so that we really understand this concept. It's a very important one because so far we've been building applications that were our one page applications, which is amazing, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. But as you know, all of the complex applications, they usually have more than one screen. And that's what we're going to be looking at. Now, for that, we are going to derail a little bit from our application here. We'll get back to this, but we're going to derail from our app here. That way, we can focus only on transitioning from screen A to screen B and how to pass messages or data between two different screens. All right, so no worries. We'll get back. We'll come back to our application here once we have the knowledge of transitioning from screen A and screen B. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. Okay. And it's going to be flatter, of course. Say next. I'm just going to go, let's say here, I'm going to just call this screen A to B. New screen like this. Okay. Everything else we can just that build apps with Palo new screen app all right so I'm gonna say finish say new window and there we project I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of this as always and clean things up okay so I'm gonna go to our lib here I'm gonna go ahead and create a new directory call this UI that's very good now remain here I'm going to import of course material void main in fact let's see can I call a main let's see For home, we're going to just go ahead and say new home, which we haven't created. So you've seen this a few times now. To simplify things, I'm going to put everything in one file. So what I'm going to do here, let's go ahead and create our home. I'm going to say, I'm going to make this a stateful one. So remember, I can say STF for stateful, get enter, hit enter, and then we have everything set up for us. I'm going to say home, this is what I'm going to be calling, and you notice now everything is set up for us. So this is a really good trick that I showed you before. If you just type in STFL, STF like this, you can stay stateful. Or if you want to do the stateless, start STL like that, and you should see stateless. Very handy. Cool, so now we have our home. Uh, which is a stateful widget, extends a stateful widget. We have everything set up for us. So the next thing I'm going to do is to create the next page or the next screen. Uh, it's also going to be stateful because we're also going to be able to pass data between A, between screen A, the main screen, home, to screen B. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do the same thing, stateful. I want a stateful widget. And I'm going to name this next screen as such okay so we have everything set up for us of course you notice that as a boilerplate they all just return container which are just empty uh, widgets in this case okay let's go ahead and work on a few things here instead of our home state here I'm gonna go ahead and build our user interface so instead of just a new container what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to return a new scaffold seen this a million times now it has to be new I'm gonna pass in an app bar called new app bar 
let's give it a title. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say first page or screen, I call them screens. Okay, that looks good. Let's say color, center, true. Give it a background color. I like to give extravagant colors. Let's see, I want, how about, I haven't done, we haven't done green accent in a while. There we go, that looks good. Okay. Let's save this and give it a quick run. And there we go. We have our first screen. Everything is looking great and we should be happy and jumping up and down because we're so happy that this is working. <laughs> uh, well, maybe at this point, because we've done so much, this is just not worth anything. So we are all entitled now because we are developers, I guess. But in any case, we should be happy. Great. So everything is working great. Now let's go ahead and give it a body because a body is where things happen. Uh, I'm going to go say and say new list view just because it's always a good idea just in case we want to uh, make our view scrollable if we have more items inside of there. Okay, we're not going to be creating an actual list view, but we can use this widget to make sure that we have this scrollable feature if we need. It's always a good idea. Okay, so we're going to put children here. It's going to be very simple. Let's go ahead and add a new list title. This is one of my favorites now because we get to do a lot, a lot of things. List title allows us to give a title. In this case, I'm just going to go and pass a new text field. Ah, I see the beauty here. So for our text field here, I'm just going to go ahead and pass in a controller. And it's going to be, I'm going to call this name controller. Maybe say name field controller as such. We haven't created that. Let's just go ahead and create it right now at the top here. I'm going to say var. I'm going to call this name field controller. And there we go. I'm going to instantiate it right away. It's equal to new text, text editing controller as such. And if we wanted, we could go ahead and do all sort of things, but this should work just fine. In fact, let's do that. Why not? So I'm going to say new input decoration. We'll use a label text that will say label text, pass in a string here. I'm going to say enter your name. That's good. Okay. It should go back and see we have there enter your name. Very cool. Love it. Simple. Okay, so the idea, of course, is to get to the point where we can enter something and we have a button here that will then take us to the second screen. But as we go to the second screen, we want to be able to, of course, pass whatever name we have here onto the second screen. Perfect. So the next thing I want to add is going to be a button. So outside here, I'm going to go ahead and create a new list tile. which will contain a button. So I'm going to say new list tile. Okay, for the title, I'm going to go ahead and say new, for instance, uh, let's do a raised button, we could, could have used any button really. But in this case, I'm going to use a raised one. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a child, which I'm going to pass a new text. So this is just going to be the title of our raised button, I'm going to say, send to next screen something like this save and give it a quick look look at that send to next screen that's very cool uh, let's give for now a little button here so when pressed what i'm going to do for now is we're just going to go ahead and say print sending such all right now we should see at least a nice button there. And of course, we should see sending. Okay, so nothing that we've talked about right now is anything new, but at least we have things set up. In the next video, what we're going to do, we're going to set up our next screen so that it can actually receive whatever we're passing from our input 
name field here. Okay, perfect, I'll see you next.